In this video, I will show you how to convert USDT to TRX on Trust Wallet. So let's jump straight into it. So in order to do this, the first thing you're going to want to do is, of course, open up Trust Wallet on your device. And I apologize if the screen does go blank, it just stops it from screen recording when you're logging into your account. So once you've logged into Trust Wallet, all you want to do, if you look at the bottom, you've got some different icons, you want to click onto the swap icon down here. And what you can do is go ahead and swap this on here. So what you want to do in the top box is go ahead and click onto this and then just go ahead and put USDT. And you can see that's coming up here at the top. So what you want to do is select that one and underneath you want to, you can see it's already selected to TRX. But if you press onto this and type TRX, you're going to see Tron is going to come up in the list. So again, just go ahead and select that from the list. And what you want to do next is in the section here where it says you pay, you want to put how much you want to transfer across. So in this example, say I put five USDT. And what you need to do before you can actually approve this is you actually need to approve your USDT. So you can see a button's come up saying approve USDT. Also, if you look underneath, you can see additional information like the quote, the provider fee and the maximum slippage. So what you want to do is press the approve USDT button here. It's going to take you across to a screen like this. Now, I don't have enough Ethereum to actually go any further, so I don't have any Ethereum in my account. But what you would do is approve your USDT from here. And once that's done, you would come back to this screen and then you'll be able to click on to preview swap. And that's going to tell you exactly how much you're going to get. And then you would just go ahead and be able to swap your USDT for TRX on Trust Wallet. So I hope this quick tutorial helped you out today. And if it did, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribe into the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.